Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chris Lee back here on Chris Lee TV with another video for y'all. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the thumbs up for uh, the like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, this comment I just got. And it, it said, I forget, I don't know the guy who sent it. Um, so... Well, shout out to you. I appreciate the question. Um, and this video is for you. Uh, it says, what kind of drug tests? Um, and I guess he's uh, saying that as far as what kind of drug tests do they give you at Stevens Transport? Um, so I'm going to answer the question. But I'm also going to go off on a little rant. Um, just because I feel like there's some things I want to talk about. And I want to share that, you know, I feel... A certain type of way about the question obviously so um what type of drug tests uh they do a urine test um so that answers the question um so you can cut the video off if you want to since i answered the question if you want to figure out what i'm about to talk about I'm about to, like i said i'm about to go on a rant about it and um you know stay tuned if you want to watch that but here we go so i kind of feel like with that question um a lot of people ask that question and not to me but just generally in the in the like in as just as far as people wanted to know like what kind of drug test does steven transport uh give or what kind of drug test does any company really give um as far as steven's transport like i said it's a urine test but i feel like um you're kind of in the right mindset i hope you are um, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. It was a question that I asked myself because I can relate to this question. I used to smoke a lot, um, a lot last year in 27, you know, 2016, uh, and some like years after before that, I was a big smoker. I'm not lying about that. Like, I don't look like it. I look like I get told that I look like a preacher's son and stuff like that. Like, I get told I look like the good boy, but. I haven't always been that 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 person. I used to smoke a lot, and when it came down to me wanting to change my life and wanting to um, like better myself, I had to, I had to change something. And smoking, me spending money on smoking, wasn't really getting me where I wanted to be. And I, I understand people do it to self medicate and stuff like that, but. If you're trying to be prosperous, like, if you're trying to come out here and you're trying to drive this truck, then you got to choose. Like, you got to choose if you want to drive this truck or if you want to smoke. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, out here, there are truckers who do drugs. There are truckers that self-medicate. I've seen it with my own eyes. I was, I'm going to tell you a little quick story. I was trying to park my truck one day. And I was having the hardest time in the world. And uh, it's because my... Uh, my tandems were slid further back and I had forgot that they were. So I'm trying to set up for a 45 and I set myself up for failure because with the tandem slid back, I couldn't make that, I couldn't make it. So I had to go around and I'm, I went around like the whole parking lot to set myself up again, set it up in the same exact place. So long story short, uh, some nice guys, there's some nice guys out here. And um, I'm not saying that all smokers are bad. This, doc, this dude was cool as, as, as a fan, you know what I'm saying? Cooler than the other side of the pillow. So it's just a couple of truckers get out and they try to help me. And um, this guy, like, he's a, a guy, he was a black guy. And he's like, um, what are you doing? Like, you're setting yourself up. The way you're setting yourself up, it's already for failure. You need to go ahead and, and, and set it up this way and you'll get right in there. So I, I did what he said, got right in there. He, and I got out of the truck and I was stressing out because uh, I was already stressing out because I have, I was talking to my girl when we got in an argument. So I was like, I, I was just like real flustered, flabbergasted. And I was just like, man, like I, I felt like I had some weight on my shoulders. So he was like, you need to come hit this. And I thought he was kidding. I was like, I was like, no, nah, I'm good. But I just started chopping him up with him. I started chopping it up and we talking and he like start, we start walking to the truck because I'm like, you, I heard, um, I heard you bumping like he had like a little woofer, subwoofer in his uh, in his truck. And I was like, yeah, I heard, I heard you thumping over there. You know, he was like, yeah, I got I got a little setup in my truck. 
uh, with the woofer and I got the amp and all that stuff. I was like, that's pretty cool. And then he went, he, like we proceeded to walk towards the truck he, and he showed me like the little amp and everything and he pulls out his little medicine bottle and he proceeds to start rolling up. So truckers out here, like it's, it's I'm, I'm not saying like it's wrong, but I, I feel like you gotta make a decision. You have to make a decision. Either you're gonna smoke or you're gonna drive the truck because I feel like you can't do both. I'm coming from myself, like I have a wife, I have a son, and it's a lot of stuff. If I if I have to take a drug test or anything like that, like I I will, and if I fail that test, like I fail my family. And it's too much, like it's too much money to be made out here. I know I said in videos that I'm broke and stuff like that, but I I, I have a plan to succeed. I have a plan to succeed, and. And being a smoker is not one of those plans. So I had, I had to change a lot of stuff about myself, like the music I listen to. Um, I like Future. I grew up, I, I, I came up, Future coming up, I listen to all, like a lot of his mixtapes. But what are these rappers promoting? Like, what are you, what are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your mind? Like, what are you really, what, what is your end goal? Like, for real? Like, what are you coming out here to do? Because... You gotta think about that stuff before you even come out here. Like this whole whole year, 2017, I have not touched, to my knowledge, I have not touched no type of drug because this is really important to me. I really wanna grow this. Like, I really wanna make it. I wanna be a millionaire. And I'm not gonna do that by by sitting at, sitting at home and, and blowing trees all day. You just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you know what? I feel like if that's something you want to do, I feel like it's its just like you got to, you got to break, you got to break the mold. You got to do something different, man. You got to, you got to, you got to be, you can't be a statistic out here. They want you to fail already. People want you to fail already. And you can't give them any reason. <clears throat> you can't give them any, any ammunition. Like, none at all. You can't let these people, like, don't let them win, okay? I want you to I want you to win. I want you to win. I want to win. So I'm not going to give these people no ammunition to kind of, to get me out of my truck. You know how hard I work? Did I go cross-eyed? <laughs> you know how hard I work to get this CDL? Like, for real? I worked too hard. I really did. I, I, man... I had to wake up. I lost my car in CDL school. I said that in other videos. I lost my car. I had to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to catch the train at 6 o'clock and be at uh, CDL school at 7. And there was, I live in, I live like a good ways away. I had to catch two trains. I had to catch two Ubers just to get to school. I had to do the same thing to get back home. I didn't get home. I went, I went to school at 7. I had to be there at seven okay i got home at seven that's how determined i was so i wasn't gonna let no little plant stop me from from achieving greatness because that's what you if you come out here you have the potential to achieve greatness if you, i don't care if you're gonna be a company driver or if you're gonna be a lease operator owner operator i don't care you have you have some really great potential you really do and I know that because I have that potential. And I'm, I know, wh like, what my potential is. And I'm seeing, like, I see, like, the 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 ducks. You know, people say, get your ducks in a row. These ducks, they, they're starting to get in a row. You know what I'm saying? They're lining up. And I see it. And I think that's a great thing. It's, a, it's an awesome thing. I, I'm still sick, by the way. But I'm out here. You know, I'm grinding. I wasn't going to, I couldn't stay at home. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I had to get out here. I had to get to this money because I just, it's something inside of me was just, I'm really excited about this. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell from my videos, this is like an opportunity of a lifetime and I'm not going to let anything hold me back from it. I'm not going to let nothing stop me. Um, to people who self-medicate and stuff like that, all power to you. Like I'm not, I'm not hating on the drug. It's just that I will, I can't say that I would never do it again. But it's not in my future right now. I don't know if I'll get cataracts or nothing like that. So, you know, I think, you know what I'm saying? But 
it's just you have to make a decision. You really have to think about it. Are you gonna, are you gonna keep smoking, or you gonna get in this truck and you don't, you don't let these stacks be the thing smoking, and this this rubber you gonna let that rubber burn, all right? Cause it's it's for real, man. You gotta make a choice, man. We growing up, man. My birthday my birthday was yesterday. Like I said, I could not wait to get out the house and get in my truck and get these wheels turning. I would I couldn't have picked a better place for me to be on my birthday than in this truck. And that's for real. That's real. I I wouldn't I know I love my family, but I'm doing this to make a better situation in the future for my family. That's what I'm doing this for. So it was nowhere that I would rather have been than inside this truck on my birthday. My birthday. When people go out, people turn up. You know what I'm saying? People, it's people out there. My girl, she works for the government. She just told me this story not so, like two seconds ago. Um, she said this girl came to her looking for some help. She has some baby daddy issues. She has a kid, right? You gotta have a, a kid to have a baby daddy. <laughs> so, she she left the baby daddy because of the issues. Didn't have nowhere to stay. <clears throat> but she was a smoker. She smoked weed. And, um, my, my girl offered her shelter. But she said, you cannot smoke if you want to come to this shelter. She said, well, I, I'm not going to the shelter. What? You got a kid and you put smoking over your kid? Hey! It's time to make some decisions. It's time to grow up for real. We not future. We not Wiz Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? We not these people. We not Snoop Dogg, bro. Look at what these people are promoting. And you know what? They're promoting themselves. They're not promoting you. Okay? You gotta promote yourself. You gotta be... Right, you gotta ride for yourself, like for real. Them people ain't here for you. They're not putting no money in your pocket. You actually probably putting money in theirs. The wraps you buying, the papers you buying, whatever you rolling up in or smoking in, they probably got some stock in that. You ain't think about that. They probably got some stock in that. They they making money off of you. You're not making money off them. You sitting, you chilling, and you got a a, a head that's discombobulated. You asking questions of if the sky was blue and and why the water blue and if the if which what hat which, which hatched first the chicken or the, what came first the chicken or the egg? Yo, get it together, for real. Do they do they urine test? That should be the last question out of your mouth. Like no, I'm not hating you. I'm not I'm not throwing no shade. But that should be the last question out your mouth, Chris. How do, how how do I secure the bag? That's the question I'm looking for. <clears throat> That's the question I'm asking. How do I secure the bag? Why are you still broke, Chris? Do they? Do they? What's what type of test today? What? What? So if they do hair follicle, you gonna fail. If they do urine analysis, you gonna fail. Unless you got some type of detox, some type of cleanser. But you doing that? <clears throat> It's doing too much. I grew my hair out to signify the last time, the last, the last of me smoking. If I if I ever smoke, I'll cut my hair again. Okay, my hair I've been growing it all year. That was my. That's how I know that I've been clean because I said to myself, I'm going to grow my hair because like they will take your hair and they can do a test on your hair and they run tests and they can figure out if you're using drugs or not so i was like I'm, i want to make a statement so that's why i grew my hair out. i was like i will i'm not going to do drugs because i want healthy healthy hair and i'm, I'm going to grow my hair out and it's going to be healthy hair it's not going to be tainted hair so that's the i feel like that's the last question you should be asking me my g like if they what kind of what kind of drug test they take and I really hope that you you find another way to cope 
I don't know, like I said, some people smoke for the depression. I was depressed for a long time because I was broke. I would, I would smoke. I, I would, I would, I didn't have no friends. Like, I would. It's, it's, it's a, uh, it's just. I, I used it to cope. I, would, I my girl was making more money than me. I didn't have a job. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to run this business. It's not going the way I wanted to go. Like, life is hard, and I, I feel like. I mean, life is gonna be hard, man. It's, it's ain't no way you can escape life and the challenges that you face in life and that's why all this year like I realized that and I I I commend challenge I want challenge I want failure and the only reason is because I know oh, is if it ain't if it ain't gonna kill me it's gonna make me stronger if I fail that's a lesson I'm coming back I swear I'm coming back 10 times harder, 10 times faster, 10 times stronger to get where I to where I want to go. So I feel like that was a roadblock. It was hindering me. It was stopping me. If I wanted to get my CDL, then I had to I had to do a lot. Of, I had to I had to cut some things off. And that's just what I had to do. That's what I had to do. That's what you have to do. You have to decide. What is more important to you? And and, and and you have to go from there. Boy. These I feel like like these rappers is really influencing people to just I feel like that's what it is. I don't know. But hey, if you um if y'all want to, hey, follow me on my um Instagram. Chris Lee TV. My Instagram, go follow me. I'm trying to get more active on there. If it's any uh, any questions y'all got, y'all can ask me on my Instagram too. Y'all don't have to leave them in the comments on YouTube. Even though I really appreciate every comment that I get on this channel, I really appreciate every subscriber that I have on this channel. Um. So I mean, I think that's all I got. That was my little rant, my little 17 minute rant. Like I said, I answered the question, but then, like I said, man. You have to, you have to, you attract what you want. You attract who you are. You attract what you want to be. It's, it's, it's just simple. It's simple as that. What do you want to attract? Do you do you want to be? Do you want to be wealthy, or do you want to be in the same place you are right now, next year, doing the same thing? I don't want that for you. I want you to grow. I want you to prosper. So it's your boy Chris Lee signing out. Deuces. I'm about to go take a shower. Mm, it's been a minute. <laughs> Bye.